YouTubers! Hello, it's Melissa Liam of the MNH of Bespoke Hairstyles. Are you well? Are you good? This posting is in answer to your question about why would you need to retighten your hair if your hair is locked already? Um, I think I've explained already in our previous postings that when we lock your hair, we lock your hair from the tip of your hair to the base. Your hair is locked. And it's locked with a certain locking pattern uh, which should enable you to enjoy your hair. When we lock your hair, Melissa, when it gets, we only interlock. And we only interlock with our hands and with a tool. And the reason why we choose to interlock is because we want you to enjoy your hair in the healthiest way. That's how we feel. We feel like if you have chem um, products put into your hair to encourage your hair to lock, that is additional heaviness onto your hair that you don't need to carry because your hair can lock if you encourage it to lock without any products, it can lock by itself. And we feel like when you put products in, it attracts debris, uh, fibers and lint and heaviness, more heaviness to the lock. So we choose to interlock with our hands and we're using your hair. So we interweave your hair within itself from the tip to the base. Now, when you ask the question, what are you locking? When you say we're retightening your hair, what we're retightening is the base of your hair. When your hair grows out, it does not come out from your scalp as, um, it doesn't come out as locked. It comes out as loose afro bits. And these loose afros, if your hair, if you have small locks, as the locks I wear, there's, it increases the possibility of one lock at the base merging with the other. And that's why we say separate your locks. For mature people with mature locks, I put a video out there. And the video shows my little trick on how I detangle my mature sister locks. So it has to be mature. Baby locks wearers, newbies whose locks are still locking up. You have to, whilst your hair is damp, separate the base. Because this bit will not tangle because it's already locked. But you need to separate the base so that you don't have your locks merging and becoming bigger because once it merges it's hard to separate and they become bigger so to encourage the size that you have chosen for your locks to continue and for you to enjoy your hair in the best way make sure you're separating your locks so when we retighten we're retightening that base um so after four six weeks eight weeks the locks is growing and the and it's coming out and that afro bit is loose and so we don't want it to merge, we retighten that base so it's not encouraged to go to the next lock and merge. Now, when I, my hair was being locked, I found that every time I went for a retightening, I had locks on the floor. And I thought that that was normal. And I realize now it is not normal. It is not normal to, every time you go and retighten your hair to have like three or four on the floor. Um, or for there to be this kind of, there's a sample lock and for you to have, um, like I used to have, I mean, this does not really show how it was, but I used to have locks that were all one size and then in the middle was quite thin and then all one size and maybe in the middle was quite thin and I never knew why. Um, and, um, my theory is, is that when we are locking hair, when consultants are locking hair, we are trying to encourage your hair to lock. And sometimes everyone's hair is different. Some locks, hair locks quicker, some don't. Um, and sometimes you have to put a certain amount of tension to encourage the hair to lock rather than to slip and unravel. But this is where, with experience, um, you kind of lock better. Because the tension you put on, on locks, on individual clients' heads, depends on their hair type. Some Clients heads can take that tightness um, to encourage it to lock and others can't and it is a skill so um, this is for uh, this is for clients uh, people who have who wear sister locks and also even locticians we have to be aware of the level of tension we're putting on individual heads because it's it's not all the same kind of tension we need to put and sometimes you can't avoid it and you see that little stretch and you think why is that happening change your hand and kind of loosen your tension on it. 
and so it should be better. But if we continue pulling on those locks, that's when they kind of snap off. That's one of the contributing factors of locks snapping off, um, because as you're interweaving that hair, the weaker parts can't take the interweaving, and then they just snap off. So ease up on the tension of um, when you're interlocking, and that should take care of that. I do these postings because I felt like there were times when I had questions and know where to go to ask those questions. My channel is interactive. So if you have got a question about your lock situation, your Afro hair situation, connect with Melissa. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Comment and I will try and answer your question as best, as best as possible. I have so many things I want to talk about, but I can't talk about them like as quickly as I want because I'm working and a client has just arrived, so I've got to go. So, um, I am next going to do a posting on lint. Watch out for that flop and lint attracting it to your hair and how you should manage that. Thanks for watching this posting and take care of you. Bye. Ah, well, Mono Safel SK, original, featuring.